Next time you're craving a big bowl of pasta, why not try this dish instead? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by the bold garlicky flavor, the rich noodle texture, and the crunch you get from the almond flour breadcrumbs. So here's what you need. A half teaspoon of coconut oil, a pinch of salt, one tablespoon of almond flour, four zucchinis, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two cloves of garlic minced, a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, one tablespoon of parsley minced, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. So we're gonna start by making our zucchini noodles, or zoodles if you wanna get cutesy. Now there's a ton of different ways to make vegetable noodles and you can check out our other video for that. But today we're gonna use a julienne peeler. Really easy to use, costs around $10. So after you wash your zucchini, you're just gonna take the peeler and peel your zucchini just like you would if you're peeling vegetables. And as you can see, it creates these really cool noodles. So I'm gonna keep going all the way around. And we're really trying to get the outside of the zucchini, so that hearty meat from the vegetable. So once you get to the seeds, you wanna stop and grab your other zucchini. Yay, so we have our zoodles, and now into a medium skillet on a medium high heat, I'm gonna melt our coconut oil. Now I really like using coconut oil, it has a great flavor, but it also is great for your complexion, and hello, who doesn't like clear skin? So as soon as that's melted down, I'm gonna add our almond flour. Now this is packed with protein. It also has the consistency of like a cornmeal or a wheat, but this is what we're gonna top our zucchini with that kind of gives it that breadcrumb texture. And just a little bit of salt. We just wanna wait until this gets a nice golden brown and then we're gonna set it aside. Now we're ready to saute our zoodles. So back into the same pan, I'm gonna add our extra virgin olive oil, our minced garlic, and our red pepper flakes. So this is the same thing we would do if we were making a traditional aglio e olio. And then go ahead and add your zoodles. And we don't wanna cook the vegetables too long, we just wanna coat them in the sauce and warm them up. All right, we're ready, turn off the heat, add your parsley, and then season with your salt and pepper. Toss it up, and then give it a little taste before you're ready to serve. Look at that, just like noodles. Mm. That's excellent. Okay, plate it. And then right before you're ready to serve, you're gonna garnish with those almond flour breadcrumbs. Wow, this pasta looks amazing. Hey, speaking of Mr. Amazing, on our third date, he actually made a dish just like this, and I knew I was in love. Okay, maybe not in love, but definitely in food love. Any man that can cook for me is definitely a keeper. Mm. This is comfort food that actually makes me feel better. In fact, is my skin glowing yet? Guys, I would love to know if you're gonna try this at home. Let me know in the comment box below. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time we get the dish.